our pro, pro wrestling rampage. Chaos is kind of calm right now, but it's going to pick up later on, mainly because of this dude, Merciless Marcus Marcus Knight. I got that goat is just looking so. Hey, I mean, you know, gotta make it happen. Gotta, you know, <laughs> gotta go with it. Ch Chit chatting a little bit before in 17 years in the business. Yeah. I gotta ask you, what keeps you coming back? Honestly, I mean, my biggest motivation, like what inspires me to do this, is just the crowd interaction. You know, <laughs> just to be able to. Um, you know, have them get all super pumped, super excited, you know, to enjoy, to do what we do. Um, I mean, it's it's been a dream of mine to want to do since I was five years old. So, I mean, to to live out the dream, you know, it's, you know, why stop? You know, keep, keep letting the dream go for as long as you can. So, I mean, I'm I'm grateful. I'm blessed. I love what I do. I love getting in that ring. I love, you know... You know, doing what I do for these fans, you know, for for any promotion that I work yeah. for. So I was gonna say, I mean, the, the times I've seen you in the ring, it's like, you know, you see like a, a lot of the other guys, it, it feels like that they're working. It's not really work to you, though, is it? No, I mean, it's a, I go out there, I you know, I have fun. Yeah. You know, you, to when you can turn a dream into having fun with it too. I mean, it just it just makes it that much more, you know. It, it's I can't even describe it. I mean, it, it's mind blowing. I mean, I like I said, I've been I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I, like I told you, yeah. I mean, it's and I mean, there's there's not been one time that I've ever, you know, not wanted to to not do this. Who, when you're thinking back to when you were growing up, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, who was the wrestler that got you hooked into the business? Do you think Macho Man Randy Savage? I was, <laughs> yeah, 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 Macho Man. Will Randy Grice. Savage. This is your guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Huge Macho Man fan. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Man, what was it about him? Um, I mean, he the energy, you know, mm, like I mean, yeah. he made it you know, he made it his own. You know, anytime, I mean, from the moment he walked out the curtain till he got to the ring and you know, till the match was over. I mean, he just he had this intensity, you know, and you know, he was, you know, flashy and whatnot, like, you know, with those with those robes and, you know, the that the coats with the streamers and the yeah, hat and, yeah, you know, the yeah. glasses. Oh, yeah. You know, just it it was it was great, you know, and anytime I mean, we're talking about primetime wrestling like WWF. Yeah, primetime. yeah, yeah, yeah. I anytime I knew Macho Man had a match. I was right there, right there, and that that's the one that that does it for me. Like, I mean, you know, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Now, when you done, when you first broke into the business up until now, what do you think has been the biggest change? Um, honestly, I mean, you know, you think back. I mean, let's let's go back to you know the '80s. You know, when when you know wrestling was wrestling i mean it wasn't about you know the high flying the high stuff. flying yeah. flips and all that i mean when when macho man mm -hmm. did high flying i mean it was you know axe handles this and that i mean the flying elbow yeah the flying elbow man had balance like like no other and you know to me i mean it's not it's not about the, the flips and i mean you know i know people get excited about that but you know i'm you know i've always been you know i mean i did some high flying stuff then sure, I'm, sure. I'm not as young as I used to be so, <laughs> well, <laughs> so I mean you know you don't see a whole lot of it out of me but I mean I you know just the you know speaking of change I mean um you know I was I was doing the spotlight for quite a long time and then you know just just within this year you know just to, to you know come off and do something different you know something that's more accustomed to me yeah you know um you know, grew up with, you know, a martial arts background and, oh, wow. you know, I kind of just wanted to, you know, twist things in and, and, you know, go from there. And I've, I've had, I've had so much fun with it just this year alone, you know, cause like I said, this is, you know, just the start of this year is when I started doing Merciless and I mean, it's just, it's, it's been a wild ride and I, and I'm going to, I want to continue on with it. Um, not saying that the spotlight wasn't fun, but I mean that's that was the majority of my career. How much of the with your with your martial arts background? How much did that help you 
transition to the squared circle or did it? Um, I mean, it's, it's more about, you know, it's more about, you know, control. And I mean, a lot with the, you know, you'll, you'll hear the word a lot, you know, psychology. Mm -hmm, and I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, I mean, it, it's with the, the whole martial arts thing. I mean, everybody, you know, it's all about that full contact and this and that whatnot. And I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in there. I'll give it. Right. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I expect the guys to give it back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. You know, make it a fight, you know? But, I mean, it's, um, yeah, I mean, you know, just with, you know, just pure athleticism, you know, with that, it kept, it keeps me in shape, yeah. um, you know, for a while there. I mean, I was, I was getting out of shape for a bit. I mean, I had to, <laughs> Holiday season comes around. You know, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. What can you do? So, <laughs> but I mean, it, it's, um, yeah, I would say it, it had a lot to do with, I mean, I know for some guys it doesn't have to be, but I mean, it's helped me a lot, you know, and, you know. I always make sure to keep the same positive attitude, you know, with, with everything I do. Right, you know, right. So. Now I know you're a big video game guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, now, did you ever make yourself in the in the in in the pro wrestling video game? Oh yeah, absolutely, it's absolutely. Like, it's, I, like, it's like a prerequisite. It, yeah, right? it, that's one of those things you have to do. I mean, it, you know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not so much like you know, imagination wise. I mean, once you once you get into it, once you you know get into the ring. I mean, you know, you pretty much get the full, you know, full dynamics and, you know, the fundamentals of, you know, yeah, professional yeah. wrestling. And, you know, for, for fans, I mean, you know, that's their chance okay. to go ahead and live out that dream. And, you know. Okay, now the real question. Okay. Did you make yourself the champion? I didn't make myself the champion. I ah. won the title. I won the title. Won the title. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't just give it to me. Uh, I mean, you okay. had that option to just be like, hey, just, I'll just put it on myself. But no, no. I, I'm always the type of person that, you know, if I want it, I want to earn it. You're going to whoop ass in the ring yep. and in the video game. Yep. Hey, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. <laughs> you got to do it the right way. got to do it the right way. Thank you for your time, my man. Absolutely. Thank you. All right.